I think we've all been there before. We're on a conference call or in a Zoom meeting or on a live stream and you hear your voice echoed back every time you speak. Hey, hey, it's so it's great so to catch up with you. Hey, yeah, it's great to catch up with you too. Wait, wait, wait. Something's, Something's weird with the sound. Oh, this is oh, really this distressing. No, this is echo. Can you hear I that? Don't hear no, no, what no, you're no, having no, a problem echo. with, so that's definitely on your side. It's an absolute nightmare if you don't know how to fix it, but today I'm going to give you a super easy solution. Hey guys, if we haven't met before, my name's Joey Clarkson and I'm an independent singer-songwriter, voiceover artist, and audiobook narrator living in London, UK with my husband and our two Pomskis. I make videos just like this about the music business and the voiceover world every week, so if you're interested in this kind of thing, please hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on because I would love to have you along for this journey. Okay guys, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, today we're going to be talking about that audio echo you get when you're on a live stream or conference call or in a Zoom meeting. Most importantly, how you can get rid of it. And I'm going to give you a really great solution. But before giving you the solution, I want to explain why the echo is happening so you can better understand and avoid it in the future. Okay, so picture this. You're in the audience at a show, your favorite performer is on stage, and all of a sudden you are deafened by that high pitch screech of a sound coming from the speakers. Your eardrums feel like they're bleeding, the artist apologizes, and the sound guy at the back rushes up to the front of the stage to move a few things around around and fix the problem. That's what happens when the sound that is traveling through the speakers is then picked up again from the microphone and then sent again through the speakers, which is then picked up again by the microphone, and that creates a feedback loop. If you're a musician, you're well aware of what a feedback loop is and how to prevent it. Now, audio echoes on live streams work in a very similar way, on a much smaller scale. When you're live streaming or on a conference call or in a Zoom meeting, you're usually using a device like a laptop or your phone to do so. Now that's perfectly fine, but your microphone and your speakers are all in this area. So unless the program you're using has an echo cancellation switch, you're going to be a bit out of luck unless you have one simple fix. A pair of headphones. This will stop the audio you hear from your speaker from entering the microphone again, creating the feedback loop the echo for whoever you're talking to on the other side. If you're using your phone, it's a similar problem. You'll probably notice that if you're speaking on speakerphone, it happens more often than when you're speaking on the normal phone function. And that's because the speaker is louder and therefore has more chance of feeding what you're hearing back into the microphone. The simplest fix is to just wear a pair of headphones and make sure whoever you're talking to is also wearing a pair of headphones. This is going to keep the audio at the highest quality it can be at and also prevent the echo from happening. That's the simplest fix. Some programs will have an echo cancellation switch that you can turn on, but this will usually sacrifice the quality of your audio. So your best bet is to just wear a pair of headphones. And if you don't, your device will turn into the culprit. Remember, just because you don't hear the echo doesn't mean that you're not the problem. In fact, that's usually a telltale sign that you are the problem because your device will be the one that's creating the echo when it picks up whatever's coming through the speakers and sends it back out to the other people on the call. That's it guys. Really simple switch. I hope that that was easy to understand. Please walk away knowing that you should always wear headphones in a professional call. It just makes sure that things run smoothly. If you found this helpful or have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And on the way down to the comment section, if you could hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on, that would be wonderful. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm looking forward to getting to know you better.